Hello friends. Now it's time to see row number function practically. How to use row number practically and see the difference between all three analytical functions rank, den strength and number, row number. And what is the advantage of this? What we will do, we will uh, find out the number of orders each customer has placed. So, we do various customer itself based on their number of orders which they have placed. So, we will go to all three functions rank, dense rank and row number. So, that we can see here the difference between practically between all three. So, we want to look at number of orders each customer has placed. And we need to rank based on that. So, first we need to write the information about, uh, we, we need to extract the information about order. So, number of order each customer has placed. What we need? Customer name and order ID. Order ID should be distinct. How di because, how distinct? Every order should be distinct. Then we will count it. Which one has maximum order? How to rank it? After counting, we will rank it by rank function, dense rank and row number. Descending order. Then you will find out the difference between rank, dense rank and row number. So we will put select customer name, count order ID. So let's say for now this is not here. Rank, dense rank, row number so from where we are we want to find out we want to find it out from market factful or customer name is not in mar market factful but uh, order id is there in market factful then we will do from market factful alias as alias table name inner join customer dimension c two different table Customer dimension will give the name about customer name. On link field count, then count. Then we will use here. We will use here group by use here group by close. Group by close. Group by customer name. Distinct order ID. So we have write the normal query select customer name count and then after this. Now we will use rank function. Rank function here. And we will rank the count the customer name and count of a distinct order ID in descending order. Then we will place rank over order by close. Which one order? For I want to put over close here for all the three. Over close will be same first for all three. We will write for one and then copy paste for two. We will write order by close ordering based on the aggregation. I am giving this range and let's say we need to short it out in descending way. Now copy the over close and paste it. So first we will write then we will paste here. So order by aggregate function which we are putting here in descending order. So we will put here we will put here save. We are using rank, dense rank and row number and we will see the difference. Uh, what is the applicability of row number and rank dense rank over? Okay, although we have seen the uh, applicability of rank and dense rank and advantage or disadvantage of both in previous classes. So, if we are going to run here, we will execute this one command. You will see there are two customers. Two customer and which have distinct order ID count they have they have five five order which are distinct now according to dense rank and rank here we will see one 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 why one one because both have same order count both have in rank if both have same we will have one similarly in dense rank because they both are same understand it because they both are same so we are putting it one one 
we are getting the result of 1 1 automatically dense function will work like this understand and row number has the advantage that it will put 1 and 2 so this is the difference between rank dense rank and row number if we will have the same numbers or we if we are having here multiple numbers let's see there are five rows more here then rank will give 113 see dense rank will give 112 and row number count this function give 123 so this is the difference between all three either they are having same or difference but row number will uh, will have applicability and will be used as a function where we really want all distinct rank all distinct values we don't want 1142 we don't want 1144 right? for uh, for products for uh, anything for which we are uh, we want to extract from uh, any data set they all uh, they four product has same rank no by row number they don't have same rank okay i hope you understood how to use it now if you notice that head header is coming that entire function itself as because we didn't provide column alias here also here also entire row is coming as column so why it is coming as entire column because we didn't provide column alias now we will provide column alias and we will see the difference we will put here as order count we will put here as order count we will put here here also as column alias as order rank and we will put here as order dense rank we will put here order as order row So now if we are going to execute it, see the beauty of using column alias. So I hope you understood how to use rank, where to use rank, where to use dense rank and where to use row number and what are the advantages, disadvantages of all three and which one function is better where to use and how we can use aggregate function with rank dense rank and row number and what is the applicability of what is the beauty of using column alias and we also understood how to write down then rank dense rank with join similarly we can use for uh, multiple tables join similarly we can use group by order by where any kind of filter so you can increase the complexity according to the requirement of your uh, data set or the result you want to extract from any data set and you uh, can use all the function you really want i hope you understood how to use all these functions in our next class we will start partitioning by I didn't told you how to use partition by so from my next class I will continue from that topic.
ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच इफ यू रियली लाइक माई वीडियो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल थैंक यू